Breakfast. Way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any, any brand. brand. I'm my own brand. Mayno. Yeah. Mayno. All yeah. right. Now, Tyrese has responded to his ex-wife, Samantha Lee. Samantha Lee recently did an interview with, uh, and she talked about her divorce. Right. She was on the Hardly Initiated podcast okay. and she said that the reason why she ended up getting a divorce was because of other people. Here's what she said. Do you think you still would have actually gone through a divorce? Not that time. The truth about the matter is that if I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No. And that's the truth. I was very, very hurt. I was very angry. And I remember when I made the decision, I was like hysterically crying. Oh. Right. She said she underestimated the involvement of lawyers and the court system in their divorce and that they tend to win when families fall apart. Mm. Um, now, Tyrese, however, did not take too kindly okay. to this confession. And here's what he had to say in response to his ex-wife, Samantha Lee. If you had people in your ear that influenced you into leaving your husband and your one-year-old child, you're heartless. So if you had people in your ear at the time, they must be still in your ear because you're still trying to get $20,000 a month for a five-year-old. You make $160,000 a year on your own. This is all a game. You're clout chasing. If you wanted to be famous, Boo Boo, that's all you <laughs> oh, had to say. Wow. Yeah. Boo Boo is hilarious. Boo Boo. Boo Boo is valid. <laughs> it is. It's, Jasmine, it's... stop playing with me, Boo Boo. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because it could mean something nice. Or nah. Could, no, nah. usually Boo Boo is like, nah. hey, Boo Boo. No, it's nah. usually like with some shade. Nah, right, yeah. it's boo-boo. usually shady. Move out of my way, Let boo-boo. me tell you something, Boo Boo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, he also says that she hired three law firms and his legal fees are approaching a million dollars, even though they have a prenup that she's, he said she's trying to crack the prenup and it's been three years of it. Can I just ask a question really quick? It did at some point seem like Tyrese wanted her back. Yeah. Right? It did. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. When, he was, when he was crying, he was like, why? Like, what time. more do you want from me? Yeah, that was there you go. Yeah. No. But divorce even, is hard for, yeah. you know, it's not an easy process. And they and, have a child together too. Mm-hmm. You've been divorced? Um, what? I'm asking you. Have you ever <laughs> No, I have not. Never got divorced. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, all right, now Tyler Perry has I'm set sorry. an eight picture first look feature film deal with Netflix. He's going to write, direct, and produce feature films under a multi year first look deal. And this pact is eight pictures over four years. Okay, that's going to be dope. Tyler Perry, do not stop making these deals, okay? Is, Let me tell you yeah. something. I remember the first Tyler Perry movie I ever saw. What, what, what was that? That was the one, um, what Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Okay. That's correct. Wasn't that the first one? Uh, no, I mean. Oh, I don't know. I just no. remember that's the first one I ever saw. Did you all ever go to any of his plays like back in the day? Nope. I, I went to I one play. I saw the play I saw the play first. My play mother first. used to watch the plays. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the first time I ever saw Medea was on the, was the play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never saw the TV, play. TV, though. But I I just remember being on vacation with my best friend and her mom Mm -hmm. and her mom's best friend. And they were like, you have to watch this movie. (laughs) And that's how I ended up watching it. It's so good. Well, and um, she was like talking along with it while it was playing. She knew a word from she knew all the words. She did. Well, um, Mayno is an actor, so we need to get you in on this deal. (laughs) Mayno always plays the bad guy. We want you to play the nice guy. I want to play. A priest in a horror movie. You I gotta. It has that. to be believable. I don't think yeah, you being I'm, a priest. I'm the one being given the exorcism. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, well, shout out to Pastor A.R. Bernard, who was up here. He actually has performed exorcisms. Really? Before. Yes, he has. The- uh, I'm going to show y'all exorcism. That's the okay. best one. All right. Now, E-40 has his childhood street renamed after him. That is the goal. Well, All right. Now, he also has October 21st as E-40 days. Oh, nice. But now he has a street E-40 way. So, oh, cool. Mm-hmm. It's a one-mile stretch of Magazine Street where he grew up, mm-hmm. um, and there was a whole ceremony, and so shout-out to him. Ooh. Okay. All right, Little Wayne has a wax figure, mm-hmm. but he does not like it. I don't know if you guys saw Little Wayne's wax figure. Oh, he looked like Y and the, what's the dude yeah, name? Yeah. Uh, the one that just went missing uh, yes. alleged, like for a little bit. No, All right. What's his name, up. Angela? The guy that went, the boy went miss, missing, but he really wasn't missing, a rapper. He came on your show a few, NLE Chopper. NLE Chopper. No. That's what he looked like. No, he don't look like NLE Chopper. No, he looked like NLE Chopper. That smart, saying. those teeth. He does look like, yeah. Like the Melly guy. Yeah. Okay, I gotta look Melly up. Now, Little Wayne says, sorry, Wax Museum, but that ish ain't me. You tried though, and I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why do they always mess those up, though? That's probably not an easy thing to do. 
Some of them look real. I've been to the wax museum. I thought it would be, okay, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. But it is a quick walkthrough. Let's just say that. It's okay. not like, you know, you get to take pictures yeah. and then it looked like you're really with the person if the person looks like. Uh, I think uh, Mike Tyson looks similar to his. Yeah, some of them do look very realistic. All right, well, that is your Yee And uh, when we come back, we have a bout last night, y'all. We had a lot going on, so I cannot wait to discuss this. I know Mena was performing at Giant Stadium. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was with everybody at Black Entrepreneur's Day with Damon John, mm-hmm. and that's going to be airing on November 1st. We'll talk about that. And okay. Jasmine, I know you've been around the world. It's yes. way up Jasmine in Angela Yee. About last night. 